Hi, my name is Ellie and I am one half of Tough Souls. Together, myself and Carl have walked over 4,000 kilometres all around Ireland along its National Waymarks trails. These trails vary from single day hikes to multi-week adventures. And today, I'm here to tell you about some of the hidden gems that you will find across the four different provinces here in Ireland. The province of Munster covers the south of the country and is home to some of Ireland's most famous hill walking, such as the McGillicuddy Reeks in County Kerry, the Galti Mountains in Tipperary, and the karst landscapes of County Clare. Within the McGillicuddy Reeks, you'll find the Kerry Way, one of Ireland's longest and most inspiring trails. This 200 plus kilometre route takes you all around the Ivy Peninsula, twisting and turning below Ireland's tallest peaks. For those more interested in heritage, the Tipperary Heritage Way offers amazing history along a 56 kilometre trail, starting in the V of the Knock Me Down Mountains and finishing at the famous Rock of Cashel. What I love about heritage trails is their ability to link together the amazing history and folklore of an area and how they allow people access to some of the most amazing old ruins and heritage sites. My advice would be to look up some of the historic sites linked along this trail, pick the couple that seem the most interesting to you and go explore them for a day. Leinster covers the east coast of the island. Here you'll find contrasting terrains in the Schlieve Blooms and Wicklow Mountains versus the fertile lowlands of Kilkenny and Kildare. If I'm talking about Leinster, I have to mention the Wicklow Way, Ireland's most iconic trail. This 130 kilometre route takes walkers through the Wicklow Mountains, known as Ireland's Garden County. You'll see places like Glendalough and Glenmalure, and it's absolutely breathtaking. If you're looking for the hidden gem of Leinster, the Schlieve Blooms offer the most amazing trails through Ireland's largest nature reserve. While these hills may not be tall, they still offer the most amazing views out over the low-lying bogland that surrounds these mountains. If you're looking for more of a day hike, the Nor Valley Way follows the River Nor south of Kilkenny through such towns as Thomastown and Inishig. This trail follows the twists and bends of the river and is teeming with nature and wildlife. As well as being really beautiful, I'm happy to say that this trail is also approachable for all levels of walkers. Connacht is famous for its wild coastline, with the most of the counties there featuring prominently on the Wild Atlantic Way. If you want to explore the rugged wilds of this area, the Western Way through Mayo and Galway offers a great chance to delve into Connemara and the Nethin Mountains. One of the hidden gems of this province would be the Miner's Way and Historical Trail in County Roscommon. Not an area usually famous for its hiking, this spectacular trail takes you over the old mines of Arigna along the banks of Loch Key and through some beautiful forested areas. With over 100 kilometres of trails in this county, this is definitely one of the most overlooked, beautiful corners of Ireland. So far in Ulster, our walking has covered the counties of Donegal, Cavan and Monaghan. Walking in Cavan, we pass through the Cavan Burn, a forested limestone landscape full to the brim with ancient heritage in the forms of wedge tombs and dolmens and unusual landscape features like sinkholes and glacial erratics. We found this quiet place to hold such an air of mystery and wonder as we walked through these ancient tombs. Heading to Donegal, it's a whole different kind of landscape and trails. Walking past Mount Ergo or along the Schlieckalm Gill to Porsche Beach, the places to explore here are endless. The Donegal trails extend out to the islands too, reachable by ferry and offering so much adventure. We walked over 350 kilometers in Donegal and I still feel like we've only seen a corner of it. It is wild and windswept, but absolutely breathtaking, and I cannot wait to go back there again. Thanks for watching. I hope I've inspired you to find somewhere new in Ireland and showing you some of the amazing hidden gems that we walked through on our 4,000 kilometer journey. For more information, make sure to check out toughsouls.ie, and as always, happy hiking. Morning from this very autumnal, crisp November morning. Um, the video that you just watched is from the Tough Souls archive, which basically means it's a video we made quite a while ago that never got released. So I hope you like it. I hope um, there's at least one or two trails in there that you haven't done or haven't considered doing and might be interested in now. It's a very quick overview but um, it definitely has a couple of good ones in it. 
at the end of every video we have to say a huge thank you to our patrons who are the ones that make all of this possible this week i'd like to say a huge thank you to jim doyle to terry and janet sweeney and to ruby um huge thanks to everybody who supports on patreon it really really means so much um yeah it allows us to keep walking and keep making videos and keep being creative which is just a real privilege so thank you and um yeah i will see you in our next video